For number seven, we have the bent wire shown in the figure lies in a uniform magnetic field. Each straight section is 1.18 meters long and makes an angle of 61.2 degrees with the x-axis. The wire carries a current of 1.61 amps and we're asked what is the net magnetic force on the wire in unit vector notation if the magnetic field is given by 4.24 kT and this k should have a caret over it indicating direction as well as b which is 3.89 and that should also have a caret over it indicating direction. We can look at the graph we're given and also make a xyz coordinate plane. This is going to be our y which is our j, this is our x which is our i, and this is our z which is a k. We can look at the values that we're given and each straight section is 1.8 meters long. We can assign our lines to be written as D, and we can say that D is equal to 1.18 meters. We have our angle, which is theta, as 61.2 degrees, and these are both 61.2 degrees. We're asked to find the net magnetic force. We're also given a current, which is 1.61 amps, and we can say that our I is equal to 1.61 A. We are asked to find the net magnetic force, and we have two forces here. We have F of L, and we have F of N, or we have F of R, for the force on the left and the force on the right. Both of these combined down the middle is gonna result in F of N. We notice that this is in our Y direction. With this being in our Y direction, we can now look at the angle inside of here. And this is gonna be 90 degrees minus 61.2 degrees. And this is going to equal 28.8 degrees and we can use this angle. We can also use our magnetic field given and the length to write out this formula, that F is equal to I, which is the current, times L, which is the length, times B, which is the magnetic field, times the sine of the angle, or this can be written as direction. In here we have two forces and we need to find the net force. Our F of net is gonna be equal to the force of the left and the force on the right. If we look at both wires, they're exactly the same. They have the same current, I, they have the same length, D, and they have the same angle right here. Both of these are the same size, both 28.8 degrees. So when we plug these values in for our F of L, we have 1.61 amps times our length, which is 1.18 meters, multiplied by our magnetic field, which is 4.24 in the K direction. And then we are going to have our sine of theta, which is just 28.8 degrees. Now we have to add our FR, or our force on the right side. And since we know this is the same exact thing for both forces, we can just paste this on this side and add them together. Or since there's two of the same forces, what we can do is just multiply this by two for this particular case. If they were different, we would have to add them. After we plug everything into our calculator carefully, noting to do it in degrees, we are gonna get that our F of net is equal to 7.76 newtons. Although we use the magnetic field in the K direction here, our F net is going to be focused in the negative direction right here. And it's going to be focused in the negative J direction to be exact. So we can write this as a negative J going down this way. And since this is a negative J, 
this is going to be negative 7.76 newtons in the j direction like this. And we don't have any x value. So if we are writing this out in unit vector notation, we're going to have 0 i plus negative 7.76 j plus 0 k. And this is all in newtons. And that can also be the answer. Well, this is the correct answer since we're asked to do it in unit vector notation. For part B, we are given 3.89 i teslas. So for our graph, we are basically going to have to remake it. And we can do that over here. And since it's in the i direction, we're going to have our y and our x here. And this time, our graph is going to look like this. So our f of n is going to be down the middle again. We have our f of r and our f of l. But for this case, we're going to label them f t for top and f of b for bottom. We are going to use the same formula, which is f is equal to our current times the length times our magnetic field times the sine of theta. And we are also, just like last time, going to say that our f net is equal to our f of top plus the f on the bottom. But before we go any further, we can use symmetry to see that b is just zero. In part a, the graph that we're given our values are in the negative part of the graph. They're both in the same quadrant, so they're added together. However, this, these values, are in two separate quadrants. They're in quadrant one and quadrant two. And since they're in two separate quadrants, this one is going to be in the positive quadrant and this one's in the negative quadrant. And since they're both the exact same, they're gonna cancel out, which means everything is just going to equal zero. So we're going to have zero i plus zero j plus zero k. It's all going to be in parentheses times newtons. And that is the unit vector notation for that. And here, back again, we can see that these are both in the negative direction, which is why they are added together down here. And in here, it would be basically f top being positive and f b being negative. And that is all the work necessary for number seven.